Today, I'm here to talk to you about focus. Oh, wait, well, let me get in focus real quick. Hold on. Sorry about that. Now I'm in focus. And this is what the purpose of this video is. I'm here to talk to you about your focal plane, uh, not so much a depth of field tutorial, but a quick tip on focal plane and how it affects uh, what you're seeing. And I mainly wanted to make this because I had a couple email questions asking, how do you focus yourself? And it's as simple as using something like this. And here we go. One of the main things you have to get with depth of field and everything is what a focal plane is. And I'm going to show you some examples basically using these two hands and I'll show you how to focus uh, yourself when there's no one around you. But it's really important to understand focal plane because it's going to help get that bokeh background, that blurry buttery stuff and you have to understand about when you use zoom lenses, compression when you're zoomed in at 200 millimeters and etc. So I'm going to give you a quick crash, quick, qua, 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 a quick crash course on that. And basically, it's, it, there's two things that go into it. Your f-stop controls depth of field, and your other biggest thing is the distance from your lens to your subject. And as you get a telephoto lens and zoom in, uh, everything compresses, and that's where you see the better buttery stuff, which is called bokeh. And that all involves a focal plane, and how focal plane is important to your your video making in general, photography, and focusing yourself for YouTube videos or just anything in general, is it's the main component you need. And it's as simple as you saw me here. I was, I'm at an F2.8 right now, and if I step here, I'm cut off, but I'm out of focus. And the main reason being, my focal plane is very, very small because I'm at an F2.8. Now, if you have an F11, in which I'll show you in a second, everything's gonna be in clear fo focus it's depth of field and I'm going to show you a quick thing with my hands and show you exactly what I mean. So as I said right now if I move around, that was off camera, if I move around you'll see I'm not in focus anything unless I'm right around this area. Main reason being your focal plane in an f2.8 and f1.4 which is even smaller is just very small and here I'll kind of show you with my hands real quick. Picture two parallel lines. Bam. Picture two parallel lines that are flat and are just even surface. So you would think of it like this, but for sake of demonstration, I'm showing you like this. And basically, this is what an f2.8 looks like. I'll kind of angle it to show it to you better. And at f2.8, everything in between these lines, everything which your focus is, these are, this is in focus. Now, everything in between here, if you step out a little bit, if you lean in and lean out, you're going to see that it's out of focus. Anything outside of the lines falls out of focus. Now, as you saw in my video, in my first thing, I was at an F2.8 and there was more bokeh and everything in the background. It's because I was in between this line. I focused on the tree and stood next to it because it's in the same path as I was. I was standing right next to it in between the lines. But if, as you saw, when I wasn't in front of it and I had to walk into focus, I was way above the first focal plane. And basically, to expand that, you just... Use F8, F11, F16, and it'll get that greater depth of field, and you're gonna have so much more room to play with. But as I said, it becomes tough when you're trying to focus yourself in film, because if you're an F2.8 in film, like this is a film camera, and any kind of video, photography, YouTube video, etc., you wanna try to, you wanna use a, uh, a shallow depth of field because it looks really awesome with that bokeh in the background, but the greatest way to do it is to focus on a tree or a stationary object that's in the ground. So anything in between here is in focus, everything else is not. Back to the video. Now I'm at an F11. Basically everything in focus is around me. Your focal plane is greater. Understanding the focal plane and depth of field is one of the greatest things you'll need to learn in photography, videography, anything you do. And I kind of hope that that showed you really well. Uh, as I said, once again, F28, very, very shallow focus plane. You need to be in between F11, you have way more room, way more depth to move around. And if you want to be safe, shoot it in an F8, shoot it in an F5, 6, something like that. But if you really want to go for an F28, an F18, um, as I said, I will focus directly on this tree. And now I know that if I'm standing there, I'm in focus. If I'm here, I'm out of focus. But if I walk in, I know I'm in focus. And as I said, in the F1, of, I was at F11, you can basically move wherever you want. Now, if F22 is your safe spot, if you really wanted everything in focus. 
But as I said, that's about it. That is focal plane. Um, my quick tip for this message and this e message that I got was, um, yeah, use this to focus. But if you're shooting a portrait, you don't have to use your f2.8 lens at a 2.8. And I highly don't recommend doing that. Um, it's not bad to do it, obviously. It's just you want everything in focus. If you're turned at an angle, you want this eye and this eye in focus. Not just this eye and this one falls off. Now, it's fine, but I would say use it at a 3.2 or an f4. And you're, the more compression, the bigger your zoom lens at a 200 millimeter, etc. And even a 300 millimeter, you'll get that blurry background, that bokeh like you're seeing now. So that's about it. Um, as I said, I wanted to show you how I kind of focus myself. Uh, you don't have to use a tree if you're in an open area where there is no trees or anything else around you, like a desert, I guess. Uh, you could put something directly on the ground, boom, zoom in from, hopefully you're using a tripod. I would definitely recommend that. Zoom down uh, from where that's at, focus on that, pan it back up, do a couple takes to see where, you know, your headroom and everything like that. That's about it. Quick tip-ish type thing. That's focal plane and how I focus myself for my videos. Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye. Please subscribe, like the video, and if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Take it easy, guys.